The animation you're seeing on screen right now looks like it was made in After Effects, but it's actually done in DaVinci Resolve. Apple's design language is minimal, smooth, and ridiculously polished. And recently, Motion VFX dropped a couple preset packs that pretty much let you recreate that exact look directly in DaVinci Resolve. The cool part is you don't need to build any of this from scratch. Most editors overcomplicate these animations, but once you understand how these presets work together, it becomes insanely simple. In this video, I'll show you which packs are worth it and how to combine them to get a result that looks super clean. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make animations like this that feel like they were straight out of an Apple advertisement. Let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna be using these packs, M Mockup Clean and M Keynote 2 from Motion VFX. By the way, Motion VFX is having their biggest sale of the year, and there's literally discounts up to 50% off. So you can make these Apple animations that I've just made for half the price. So first, I'm just gonna search up the first preset. So I'm gonna do M Keynote 2, and now we have all these presets here. So I'm just gonna see which one looks the best for the animation we're gonna create. Oh, wait, this one looks insane. Wait, I have to get this one on. Oh, this one is wild. It's like 3d i'm gonna i'm gonna put that in too that's interesting i actually kind of like this animation okay i'm gonna put this in all right now we're going into the add-ons oh this one's nice wait this one's like the actual apple like switching thing i'm gonna add this in i'm i'm definitely adding this in gradient clouds bro wait that is crazy cool okay let's add these in the gradient clouds and gradient flux all right now we're getting into some infographics Ooh, i am using this one um okay can you edit this though because if you can edit the graph that that'd be game changing let's go to the inspector and graph controls graph thickness yo wait wait that's insane <laughs> um let's see graph circle oh wait this is like crazy editable what if i want to edit the actual graph little things here can i go to fusion overlay wait you can do that wait and you can edit it to whatever you want <laughs> Wait, let's let's see it now. Yo, that is wild. All right, let's keep searching. Oh, <laughs> they got the liquid gloss, bro. I'm using this one too. Steps timeline. This one also looks sick. Now we're going into social media, just avatars and like subscribe buttons and whatnot. Subscribe, make sure you subscribe. Oh my God, what, what happens to the subscribe button? Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? Mkino 2 AI prompt. Oh my God. Gosh, wait, this is sick. I could use this. Wait, wait, I'm definitely using this. Oh, this is wild. Oh, shoot. They they animated it just like the Apple home screen animation where it like goes out and then in. That's basically it for M Keynote 2. But let's go on to M Mockup Clean. These are usually added onto a clip. So if, you, if I add this on here, it'll go onto a clean Apple device. I'm going to get this watch circle. Oh, my. Oh my gosh. Wait, that looks wild. And you can control each individual watt. Let's get a clean display laptop onto the timeline here. And that'll be it for M Mockup Clean. All right, so we now have everything that we will need for this Apple animation. And because this is a lot of presets over here, I'm going to go through all of them and pick the best ones to use for this Apple animation. So I'm gonna do that right now. This one, mm, I don't know if I want that to be honest. And this one too. Okay, so this glow animation, animation is sick this animation is so like just okay this one has to be an apple dude like look at how it just animates like what that is so clean oh this one is a nice one this one unique oh design creativity and then vision <laughs> and then we have these watches i think i might remove this one because i i want something more simpler and instead i'm gonna use like one of these laptops so yeah i'm gonna keep it to that and now we can structure this animation and then afterwards, I'm going to animate it and make it look absolutely phenomenal. So now to start off, <laughs> should I just start off with start? Now it just says start with a cool animation. What I'm going to do, go into the inspector and then increase the content scale. So now it's a uh, bigger. And what I'm going to do is also 
put this clean background behind it and let's see how that looks start that looks sick and then i think when i press start i'm going to do this cool animation because this is so smooth i actually love this animation so the animation will start we will cut it and the ai prompt will play i'm gonna put this one performance Ooh, you know what we could do which would be insane what i'll do is i'll take this laptop mock-up and move it to the start of this timeline and as this start icon this like button is being pressed it's actually like inside the laptop so here let me actually make this and then with this laptop you have to actually apply it onto a clip and then the clip will be inside the laptop so what i'm gonna do is just go into these effects that i have so far over here right click it new compound clip this will be our intro clean display laptop and now we drag this onto this clip and now it is a bit slow but that looks phenomenal so now our animation starts off with the computer coming out i wanted to transition right so i'm going to disable this prompt real quick and in the effects tab i'm going to get an adjustment clip into the timeline i'm going to line it up with this prompt maybe a couple frames earlier and then with this i can move this around the background will be black but i can fix that so i'm going to right click into the adjustment clip press open in fusion page now press shift space and get a transform node hold shift slot it in and so at frame zero i'm going to make a keyframe for center and then i'm going to move maybe 16 maybe 14 frames and i'm going to move the center all the way to the left and then i'm going to open the spline tab check this box press ctrl f press ctrl a and then press s to smooth and then press t to edit the smoothing so i'm going to increase the ease in to about 80 and then increase the ease out to about 70. so now let's see how that looks real quick okay that's i think that's a, a bit too fast select this last keyframe hold shift and then move it over to about frame 25. so now let's see that that looks nice. And now to fix this background being just blank, we're gonna press shift space and add a background node. Hold shift and slot it in after the transform. And then with this merge, press control T and now it should be in the background. And so now the background is black instead of transparent. I'm just gonna pick this white over here and then press okay, boom, just like that. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy the exact animation I just used for the adjustment clip. Press open infusion page, go into the transform, press control C, go to the edit page, right click here on the search animation, open fusion page, and then paste this. And now hold shift and slot it in. Now what should happen here is it's gonna go off screen, but we can fix that. I'm gonna press this left button as many times as I can until I'm at the first keyframe and now I'm going to I'm going to make this center one to make it on the right side of the screen and then I'm going to press the right arrow over here and make this center zero so now it's in the middle or not zero 0 0.5 so now it's in the middle of the screen absolutely perfect maybe I might want to make the center a bit higher yeah that is nice so now let's see that so it starts and it transitions boom we have finished three seconds of the animation <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. And now towards the end, I'm gonna animate the center to get out of here. And I'm gonna make this go up. So let's go to frame 80, transition this animation right out of here. And I'm gonna go to the spline tab, transform, control F. I'm gonna select these both. S T and then increase the ease in and then increase the ease out. And now if we see that, it goes up. Boom. Just like that. Smooth and simple. Boom. And now it goes up all right now i'm going to show this cool animation i'm just gonna slot this right after so if this goes upwards then this will come upwards oh that's a bit of a problem this looks better when it's on dark mode instead of light mode so this is dark mode and this is light mode but it doesn't look that good on light mode and this is actually fixable 
So what I'm going to do is go into the circle diagram and what I'm going to do is disable the diagram glow so it looks much more cleaner. And with the content scale, I'm going to just make this a bit bigger. Now we can go into each entry and I can change the color of the text. So I'm going to change this color 18, 18, 18, which is a nice gray. And I'm just going to do that for every single entry. Boom. And then I'm going to change all these fonts to SF Pro. So you can completely change these fonts to whatever you want. I'm going to do SF Pro because I mean, we're doing an Apple animation. All right, now that looks m miles better. And now it looks much cleaner than before. Since the search animation transitions upwards, I'm going to also make this circle diagram transition upwards just the same way. I'm actually going to go into the AI prompt and copy this transform actually. And now if we look at this, it, it transitions upwards, which is perfect. It should come from the bottom. So I'm gonna decrease the Y until it is completely off screen go to the right keyframe over here and then decrease this until it's straight in the middle, which is 0 0.5. And now go into the spline tab, transform and make sure these keyframes are actually at the start of this animation or else it'd be kind of cooked. So if I just remove this um, start keyframe and just make it straight, then it instantly goes up and then you can see that cool animation. Then with this last keyframe, I'm going to also increase this. So let's go to the back to the edit page and then, oh, that is a little bit cooked. It goes a little bit too early so we could just make this go a little bit later and just time it up correctly so that it looks natural that looks crazy clean so now after that we now have a nice first four seconds of this animation and then it's gonna go to this progress bar and then i'm gonna make it follow this liquid gloss so let's do that so i'm gonna go to the circle diagram i'm gonna animate this out and then i'm going to animate it out left so now it's gone spline spline it up boom 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 let's do 80 and then a 70 back to the edit page now let's see this so now it's going right and then we can follow this liquid gloss so i'm gonna go to the progress bar i'm gonna increase the content scale just so i can see this liquid gloss close up and what i can do is i transition this out to the left and then this pops up so let's keyframe that content position and then move the content position all the way to where the liquid gloss is so right here perfect and actually i'm going to increase the content scale a little bit further awesome okay and now let's keyframe these let's make sure to spline these up i love doing 80 and 70 for ease in and then ease out and now that goes and then wait it's a little bit cooked if i go here when this transitions and then put this right about here and now when it transitions this one comes up Maybe I should move this a little bit to the left. So this one comes up and the liquid glass is there. And this looks insanely good. Uh, what, I see a problem here. The text is white. You can't see that. So I can go to text, make this hashtag 18, 18, 18. And that is looking absolutely perfect. Wait, you can also adjust the distortion of the liquid gloss. That is insane. You can also add blur to it if you want to. I'm going to add a little bit of blur. This is generally really powerful. I can't even lie. Let's bring in another animation. I'm going to do this fresh trends. I'm going to zoom it out and then the fresh trends just comes uh comes in i do a zoom in transition into this cool super slow floating captions animation that would look absolutely sick so it goes right and then it stops over here and then animates out and then right as this animating out i can put this fresh trends here so this fresh trends appears now and oh yeah the background is still white and i don't want it white anymore i want it dark i'm going to add a nice gray 18 18 18 boom boom and then it just transitions nicely perfect i'm gonna actually change this to say apple style through ristos through ristos awesome tutorials let's also edit all these other texts because <laughs> that sounds kind of fun so for this quick prompt quick carbon footprint reduction i'm gonna change that to say yes how to master a apple animations maybe i'll make the m capitalized <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, this is perfect, bro. To monster Apple animations and defend your off, you must subscribe to a creator named Ristol at Ristol on YouTube. If this doesn't happen, you're cooked. Dude, this is coming along so well. I actually did not expect it to come along this well, but that just like shows that you guys should probably get motion VFX. They have a lot of good presets and they're just having their up to 50% off sale. So use the first link in the description, mate. Anyways, I'm going to continue. Let's see. I'm going to change this content position in the Fusion page, actually. So I'm going to press this button because animating in the Fusion page is genuinely the smartest thing you could probably do. So let's go to M Keynote. What I want to do is actually move it to the right. So I'm going to go to frame 58 and I'm just going to move this all to the right. And I'm going to go into the spline tab and control F, control A, S, T, A, T, 70. If you don't realize, I do this a lot. Okay. So this is how it looks so far, which is insane. This looks so, so clean. This looks insanely clean. And then the Apple style, and then it goes away. I don't want to use this graph one, to be honest, although this is really useful. I don't think I want to use it for this animation. And this is another background. Ooh, wait, maybe I could use it for this. Let me use this background for this area. Let's see how it looks. So if I replace this solid color with this gradient flux, let's see how that looks now. That looks super cool. I think it's a bit too strong. Wait, 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 wait. I can wait. I can change the shape. Whoa. And then you can, oh my, oh my gosh. Wait, that's the craziest thing I've seen. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is increase the contrast. And then with the density, I'm gonna make it less denser, I think. I think I'm gonna turn off edge glow for the background. I want it more subtle. That looks sick. That looks so, so sick. I'm gonna also animate this gradient flux to move. So the background, I'm gonna make it move just a bit. That looks nice. Let's put this steps timeline up here and then in content controls, increase the scale to max, move the content position over here and let's animate this in, move this all the way over here. I'm going to remove the text at the bottom, turn off, turn off, turn off and turn off. Boom. Now I don't have any text at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to also ease this because this is not perfect yet. So let's go to the spline tab and then content position. Let's find this here. Content, control F, control A, S, T, A, T, 70. Okay, I'm gonna need to make this earlier. So let's press control A, hold shift and move it to the left. And now, boom, that's just like the liquid glass one, except it's for this new animation. Awesome. Almost there. If I go down here in timeline, timeline glow, I just want to make it less stronger because it's a bit too strong. I think I'm going to keep it like this, but keep it just lower. That looks insane. Okay, I think I'm going to end this animation with this cool start now with the brush. Kinetic text. Ooh, you know what I could do with this next thing? Instead of saying next, I could actually replace the almost there at the top. And now it goes back and now this happens. Oh, I can invert the zoom. So instead of moving backwards, I can make it move forwards. Is that true? Almost there. Boom. Oh yeah, that is so good. I'm going to change the text to say something better. Subscribe, Apple, and then sleek. Then it says almost there, it zooms in, subscribe, modern design, aesthetic, Ristol, motion VFX, Apple. Okay, then we cut this out and we're going to go to our last shot, which will be this one. And so it goes here, almost there. And then it zooms in and says subscribe and then it zooms out. And now I'm going to actually get an adjustment clip to affect everything underneath this adjustment clip and then put the title drop zone onto this adjustment clip. And so we just drag that right on and now it affects everything. And now let's see how this looks. Subscribe and then it should just go. Now, after this, I want a nice little switch animation. And then what, what should I put for this? Subscribe. <laughs> let's put that in the middle. And now I think we have completed this Apple animation. Record this with my phone here. I've been recording for one hour and 39 minutes and 33 seconds so far, and I have completed 
this Apple animation using these motion VFX presets. And this is the finished product. I'm just gonna put the finished product on screen. Again, motion VFX is having up to 50% off for like the next month. And this is like the prime time to get motion VFX presets. If you're gonna make an Apple animation or any kind of animation, you wanna make it for half the price, then click the first link in the description. I'm going to see you later. I hope you enjoy this video and bye-bye.